Question 1. A boy is aged 6 years and 3 months. His older sister is 8 years and 1 month. What is the age gap in years and months? To do this, we'll take away the years first. So 8 minus 6 is 2 years. We have to take them away in the same way. So we have 1 month, take away 3. It's minus 2 months. That means we need to take away these two months from the two years, which would leave us with one year and ten months. Question 2. If the date is the 25th of June, how many days is it until my birthday, which is on the 27th of August? So it's 30 days in June, so that means we have five days left until the start of July. 31 days in July. And then we have 27 days in August until the birthday. If we add all those up, we get 63 days. Question 3. Given that a girl is 6 years and 3 months old, and her brother is 3 years and 10 months older, how old is the girl's brother? Give your answer in years and months. Let's add up the years first. 6 plus 3 plus 9 years. And then let's add up the months. 3 months plus 10 months is 13 months, or 1 year and 1 month. Now we just need to combine these two. So 9 years plus 1 year, that's 10 years, and 1 month. Question 4. John sets off to school at 7.30am. He walks to the bus station, which takes 20 minutes. He has to wait for 5 minutes, and then the bus journey takes 45 minutes. If school starts at 9am, how many minutes early will John be? Let's work out the total journey time first. So that's 20 minutes, plus 5 minutes, plus 45 minutes, which is 70 minutes in total. I'm going to convert that into hours and minutes, just to make it a bit easier. So 1 hour, 10 minutes. Now we add that to his start time. So if he starts at 7.30 a.m. plus 1 hour, 10 minutes, that gives us 8.40. All we need to do now is think of the difference between 8.40 and 9 a.m. Well, that's 20 minutes. So he's 20 minutes early. Question 5. A school sets out a new timetable where the first lesson begins at 9 a.m. and is 55 minutes long. There is a 20 minute break after the first lesson, and the break is followed by two further lessons of the same length as the first. If lunch is immediately after the third lesson, what time is lunch? Let's figure out the duration of all these things that are going on. So, the first lesson is 55 minutes, there's a 20 minute break, and then we have two further lessons of the same length, so two lots of 55. We can simplify that, that's obviously three lots of 55 plus 20. Now, all we need to do is calculate this, so we get 2 hours and 45 minutes plus 20 minutes, which is 3 hours, 5 minutes in duration. Finally, the start time is 9am. We need to add on 3 hours, 5 minutes, which gives us an end time of 12.05, which is when lunch begins. Question 6. A school finishes at 15.15. If the last two lessons after lunch are an hour each, with a 20 minute break in between, what time does lunch finish? Okay, we need to work backwards from 15.15. First, let's take off the two one hour lessons. That leaves us at 13.15. Minus two one hour lessons. Next, we need to take off the 20 minute break, which leaves us at 12.55. That's the time lunch finishes. Question seven. If the date is the 21st of January, 2018, how old is a child that was born on the 20th of the 2nd, 2006? Give your answer in years and months. From 2006 to 2017, we have 11 years. And that takes us to the 20th 
of the 2nd, 2017. In months, this is February, from February to January, that's 11 months. I'm not sorry, I'm sorry. 11 years and 11 months. Question 8. There were three children, A, B, and C. Child A was 10 years old and 4 months, child B was 125 months old, and child C was born on the 20th of the 8th, 2007. If the current date is the 18th of the 1st, 2018, which child is the oldest? First, let's convert 125 months into years and months. 125 divided by 12 is 10, with a remainder of 5, so that's 5 months. But so far, we know that child A is older than uh, child B is older than child A. For child C, they were born on the twentieth of the eighth, two thousand seven. If we add ten years onto that, we'll have twentieth of the eighth, twenty seventeen. Now we need to see how many months we can add to here before we get to this one. So, if we add one month, it'll be oh nine, then ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then it'll be 01, 20th of the 1st, 2018. That'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 months. However, this date hasn't passed yet, because the current date is the 18th of the 1st. So child C is just less than 10 years and 5 months old. Because of that, child B is the eldest at 10 years and 5 months. Question 9. A school timetable begins with the first lesson at 8.55am. There is a 15 minute break after the first lesson and the break is followed by two further lessons. If lunch is immediately after the third lesson and all lessons are 65 minutes long, what time is lunch? So we have three lessons of 65 minutes and then we have 15 minutes to add on to that. Three lots of 65 is three hours and 15 minutes. And then we have to add on 15 minutes, which gives us a total of 3 hours 30. If the start time is 8.55 and we need to add 3 hours 30 until lunch, that gives us an end time of 12.25. Question 10. A parent's evening is composed of 12 time slots, each lasting exactly 9 minutes each. There is a 15 minute break halfway through the evening. If the parents' evening starts at 18.10, what time does it finish? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. So we have 12 time, slot, time slots of 9 minutes, which is 108 minutes. We need to add a 15-minute break, which gives us 123 minutes total. Let's convert that into 24-hour time. 123 minutes is 120 minutes, which is 2 hours and 3 minutes. We need to add that on to 1810, which gives us an end time of 13 minutes past 8.